Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here. Well, today's gonna be a busy day. I gotta install that fence back there and, oh yeah, I bought a couple of lathes. <laughs> Just a few. Uh, so I uh, had to go down to Louisville yesterday and look at these guys. This is a big Lodge and Shipley, you know, like 16, 20 inch lathe. Uh, so it's 16, I believe, to the carriage and 20 inch to the uh, ways there same as this other one they're both Lodge and Shipley they're both ridiculously heavy uh, so yeah I'd like to know if you guys think I got screwed on these or not I ended up paying eighteen hundred and fifty dollars for both lathes uh, and a crate of chucks and just center pins and you know miscellaneous shit that goes along with these guys so Unfortunately, I was not able to see these guys run. I, uh, they were in the basement of a really scary old factory down in Louisville um, that looked like, I mean, it was a 200,000 square foot building. This was in the basement of it. Really cool. Um, yeah, there was only like one fluorescent light in like 100,000 square feet that was flickering on and off. And so I was not able to really look these guys over until I got them out of the building and already, you know, paid for them and all, so. I think they're okay. Um, the ways are a little scored up up here close uh, to the headstock on this one and then they're not quite as bad on this one I think but they are a little scored so hopefully I didn't get screwed. As much as these guys weigh I figure I probably am close enough to scrap price there where even if I had to I could just wait for scrap to get up and uh, you know get some money out of these guys but uh Hopefully they work. He said they bought them in 08, which is about the time their business started to tank. And uh, they've been basically sitting in the basement there since they, uh, yeah, since they, uh, the business tanked. And uh, nobody has touched them since then. So, yeah. Now I get the fun task of getting these guys off here. We used three forklifts to get these guys on here. We had one to get it to this really scary freight elevator that I was not cool with riding on. Like, it's like, nah, that's okay, you know, uh, you guys can take that one because it looked like it was about to come apart. Uh, and one to get it out to the loading dock and they didn't have a ramp there so I had to actually use a third forklift to pick it up and then drive it out in the parking lot and layer it, lower it on my trailers. But, uh, yeah, let's get these guys off here. I want to take a look at them, hook them up and see if I can get them working. All right, one down. I just stuck my fork right under in the casting right there, chain around it and slid it back. I'm hoping I can do the same on this big one. I don't know. It's pretty damn big. We'll see here. I didn't destroy the trailer, that's pretty exciting. And uh, yeah, got these guys off here. I really need to uh, get them, uh, I figure I'd take the air compressor, maybe some degreaser and you know, try and knock as much crap off of. And then I somehow have to turn this guy around and then I think I'm gonna shove it in the garage kind of lengthwise here. And this one I'll put right where the door is, kind of facing that way. So yeah, lodge and ship lease. Hopefully they're wired for 220. They The guy thought they were, but he didn't really seem like he knew. This has like the high and low speed motor, which is kind of nice. Uh, it looks like it's a, I think it's a 10 horse. 
And uh, I don't know what this guy does back here yet. It looks like somebody's taking something off there, but I don't know what the heck went there. I figure I'll just take some degreaser and hose them all down and take the air compressor, like I said, knock the paint off or knock the crap off. But uh, I'm excited. I got them out of the truck or out of the thing. So, yeah, that's broken off, but at least it's there, so it's easy enough to fix. Somebody's broken the casting at some point on this, which kind of sucks. And then the door is missing, which also kind of sucks. But, uh, I don't know. Please, uh, yeah. I guess leave me a uh, comment there, in or leave me a note there in the comments if you think I got screwed or uh, if I did okay. Anyway, I'm going to end this here and split this up into multiple parts. I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for watching. Please check back to the channel. And, uh, oh shit. I still gotta unload that box of uh, chucks. Anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for watching. Please check back to the channel. And don't forget to click that subscribe button.